On this lesson we're going to see what happens when we bring in brackets and bars. Now, all you have to realize is that a bar or a bracket is translated as the word both. Okay, so this means both of these dies are multiplied by 2. Both of these dies are divided by 3. So, multiplying both of these by 2, I would get 8a and 14. The minus 3 does not get multiplied by 2 because it's not in the bracket. On the right hand side, both have to be divided by 3. So 3 has to go into there and 3 has to go into there. That would give me 6 apples divided by 3 is 2 apples. $9 divided by 3 is $3. These two fellows are not divided by 3 because they were not under the bar. Now we have an equation very similar to the one we gave you last time. All we have to do is, is go cross-border shopping and magically everything will work out nicely. However, before we cross-border shop, I think it's useful to simplify what we've got. So there is plus 14 minus 3. So that gives me plus 11 on this side. Here I have 2a minus 2a and that gives me 0a, so they actually cancel out, and I'm left with 7. Now all I have to do is take this to the other side of the border, because it doesn't have an a in it. Please remember, as we go across border shopping, you must change the sign of the thing you're going to put across the border. Now we can simplify again. 7 minus 11 is negative 4. And now we're ready for our divide sign. The opposite of multiplying by a is divide by a. So I divide both sides by a, and out pops the answer. a is equal to negative 4 over 8, which simplifies to negative 1 over 2. So your final answer, Regis, is A is negative 1 over 2. Nice box around your answer. Or, you could say A equals negative decimal 5 if you wanted to use decimal points. So that's the end of this lesson.